I know you'll be in the region uh, this coming week. Here's what you've got. You've got a deal that's been undermined on the ground as you've got more violence. And here's the Ukrainian prime minister saying that Vladimir Putin is still on the march. So what do you do now if you're the Obama administration? What do you want them to do? You know, the same thing I've been urging them to do uh, by telephone and other meetings, David, and that is to go ahead and put in place some of the sectoral sanctions that have been discussed. They've signed an executive order. Uh, I don't think Putin believes we're really going to punish them in that way. We keep waiting to see what their next step is. As I've said before, our foreign policy is always a day late and a dollar short because we're reacting. To me, unless they immediately begin moving the 40,000 troops on the border, which are intimidating, people in Ukraine, unless they begin immediately moving them away, I really do believe we should be sanctioning some of the companies in the energy sector, Gazprom and others. I think we should hit, it, hit some of the large banks there. And certainly we should beef up our security relationships with re Ukraine. We have relationships with 138 countries around the world where we help them with hardware and other kinds of things. And for us to really have drawn Ukraine out, the West drew them out in this way. We've helped in many ways create the problems that are existing there and to leave them alone in the manner that we're leaving them alone to now, to me, is just unconscionable. So, again, sanctions, cooperation with them relative to strengthening their military. They only have about 6,000 troops, David, that are even trained and equipped to deal with Russia coming in. But again, I think Russia is going to do it over time, the way they're doing it with black ops, intimidation. I think we're going to lose eastern Ukraine if we continue as we are. And I think it's going to be a geopolitical disaster if that occurs.